Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'm going to be sharing the story with you called Don't Feed the Worry Bug by Andy Green. Don't Feed the Worry Bug, a Worry Woo Tale. On a bench on a park, on a bright sunny day, whence the monster of worry let time slip away. He looked at the clock, it was a quarter past two, when Wynn started to think about all he must do. He had homework and laundry, he needed clean pants. He must bake some cookies for the worry-woo dance. Then Wynn started to wonder, did he leave the light on? Was his backside too poofy? Where had all his friends gone? And his worries kept growing till he heard a soft buzz that made goosebumps appear, for he knew what it was. There was only one creature that made such a sound, Around monsters that worry, it could often be found. Some call it the worry bug, and this is for sure. If you feed it a worry, it will always want more. Buzz, buzz, Wentz heard as its noisy wings flapped. It flew up and down as he shooed and he clapped. It flittered and fluttered around Wentz's ear, and the blink of an eye, more worries appeared. Did he feed his fish Ted? Did his dog get a bone? Did he send all his woo mail? Did he bring his bike home? Should he go to the movies? Would he get a good grade? Will the weather be nice for the Wu Town parade? And with every new worry that came Wentz's way, the worry bug shouted, Hip hip! Hooray! For the more that Wentz worried, the more the bug grew. It nibbled and munched on his worry filled stew. When said to the worry bug, perhaps you should leave, he asked quite politely, and even used please. Yet the worry bug stayed, for the two of them knew that Wentz would still worry. That's what he would do. As day turned to night, Wentz got ready for bed. The worry bug yawned and laid next to his head. But his buzzing kept Wentz from going to sleep, so he tossed and he turned, and he tried to count sheep. While well, thoughts of what if could be maybe and might made Wentz worry more. He was worried all night. When morning arrived, Wentz looked up and gasped. The worry bug had grown. It had happened so fast. It used to be tiny and annoyance quite small. Now it covered his kitchen, the ceiling, and wall. The bug's belly gurgled full of worries it was. No longer could Wentz sweep it under the rug. Its buzzing went on and Wentz started to fret about all the things that hadn't happened just yet. No cookies were baked. The laundry had piled. Wentz hadn't done homework in such a long while. Enough, Wentz exclaimed, there must be a way. To get rid of a worry bug, it can no longer stay. So Wentz went to the library to read and take notes about catapults, cranes, wagons, and goats. He plotted and mapped out a worry bug graph, then called in the experts, the worry bug staff. Together they studied this big growing beast and built a bug net out of Wentz's bed sheets. They were having such fun, Wentz was worried no more, and soon he was baking and doing his chores. But just when Wentz thought his work was complete, the worry bug buzzed. I need something to eat. Wentz looked at the bug. It was once again small, for while Wentz had been busy, he hadn't worried at all. You've ignored me all day, the tiny bug said, and you haven't been worried, so I haven't been fed. Then the bug stomped its feet and buzzed all the more. Wentz took a firm stand and showed it the door. I've got things to do. I must work. I must play. I'm not going to worry, so go on your way. Buzz, buzz, Wentz heard as a bug flew about, still trying to make one last worry come out. It flittered and fluttered around Wentz's ear, yet Wentz wouldn't give in, and it soon disappeared. Wentz knew very well that this wasn't the end. The bug might be back if he worried again. But Wentz would be ready, should he hear that buzz buzz, to say no to the worry bug, simply because. Wentz had learned that his worries got bigger each day when he allowed the worry bug to nibble away. So to all of you worriers, Wentz wants you to know, don't feed the worry bug, or your worries will grow. The end. 
Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn. Don't feed the worry bug by Andy Green.